Ladies and gentlemen, I'm level 27 Markerman, and this is Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, and I have a guest tonight. Yep, good evening you... everyone, I'm Gunarm Dine, call me Dine, and I don't appreciate being interrupted, but that's okay. Sorry. Uh, that happens all the time. Oh. Just, being a, okay. just being a soft-spoken person, people, people jump in, they don't realize they're even doing so. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, I was just showing where I was, pretty much. Yep. Just finished uh, level three, I guess. Yeah. And um, I also I kind of did it in um, to explain what why part of why I picked who I did when I did for guests. It was experience order. Who I figured would have the best experience. Like gold was first. And how helpful was he? He wasn't helpful. <laughs> he, I I just got him to talk though. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, th this would probably be the only Zelda game I'd be comfortable racing. And even that, I haven't played it in a couple of years. We need, um, need to. You know, the problem with racing it is oh, the trading sequence is pretty much mandatory. Yes. Speaking oh. of which, I have a speedrunner friend who has the world record on this. I have to double check and see what he says about the trading. Of course, it probably doesn't course, bother him. Yeah, of course. Even even without even without completing the the full trading, I think he just glitches his way through the through the very end where you need the last item of the trading game. I don't, don't want to potentially spoil things for people who haven't seen this. I think I might have brought it up to my last friend a little bit, and yeah. Chris and Turbo. Well, Chris and Turbo and Gold. Well, Gold not really, but mm -hmm. I was more pointing out Mario references to him. <laughs> Well, considering Terran is the precursor to Talon, they both look like Mario. Yeah. And uh, you know what I'm here for? That chest. Not quite. Oh, there's a heart piece back there, too. Yeah. I'm going to try to make this 100%, but I won't promise it. Yeah, uh, the positive thing about this, of course, it has less heart pieces than Link to the Past did, but at the same time... They're harder to find, in my opinion. There we go. You won't... Dine won't hear that, but... He knows what I was doing. Oh, yes. This is... I think that you said this is your favorite Zelda game, too? It is. Fa favorite 2D one. Um, quite possibly favorite of all time. This is my favorite of all time, too. And part of that reasoning, and probably for me, is because... Um, this is the first one I beat without a guide. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Like... Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah, same here, and I went back and got a guide and realized, holy cow, I missed that much? Of course, I started with the original Game Boy release, and j just some of the tricks I didn't know, of course, e of course, the shop stealing from the shop, uh, the end of the trading game. Or, um, um yeah. not, 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 quite, not quite the end, the secret item you can get is the result of the end of the trading game. And the the hidden good ending. Oh yeah, that, and a bunch of other tips and tricks. Um, yeah, I'm st I've st I got I still need to get enough money to get the bow and arrow, but I don't care about that till Dungeon Five. Oh yeah, it's not necessary till then. It's not even really necessary till Dungeon Six because the hookshot can make up for that. But I still need to do this right yes. now and fall asleep in the middle of our adventure. <laughs> Is this? Kind of, well, no. Uh, I feel like talking about a spoiler. I, uh, I have a joke, but it's like a spoiler. I I, th I think only those who would know it's a spoiler would realize it's a spoiler. So. Um, Inception. Okay. You get what I was going for. Exactly. Oh, Guardian Acorn! Look at a free. Oh no! The messages. <laughs> I saw uh, that one. That <laughs> Not, nothing against a lot of Let's Players, but ri seriously, some of their best moments are when they've been the most pissed off. A, a super genius with the Final Fantasy VI auction house, HC Baby with Guardian Acorns, and just got the Ocarina well before Ocarina of Time. Yep. And of course, this is the first one where it was called the Ocarina, and in Link to the Past, it's the same instrument, but they just call it the flute. Yep. And now... We just... I forget where we're supposed to go next, in terms of... She's here. Yeah, she's here. 
I know what I have to do. Yeah, the, the trigger is not here. Oh, well, it... I just triggered the get the song from her. Yep. In terms, in terms of advancing the plot, you don't have to do this right now. But in order to be able to take her where you need to go, it's not here. Yeah. I, I, I remember when I first played the game, I saw the sign leading to Animal Village. I was trying to get there as much as possible well before the plot led me. Uh-huh. This is one of my favorite. Yeah, I put Turbo cartoons. in number two because he's not a huge Zelda fan, but I figured two's pretty pretty fun. Mhm. Mm so, I think if you say no, she'll sing it again. <laughs> she won't throw the windfish on me, will she? Nope. That only happens in Hyrule Warriors. What one of my favorite moments? of her in that game is actually in the Koholand Island illustration map. Oh, what? She... Yep, a good little... Oh, yeah. That's what I named myself. Off. Man. Uh, in, in, that, in that illustration map, the map itself is Marin just singing blissfully, whereas Link and, I think it's Impa, are just charging at a bunch of giant monsters that are coming up behind her she doesn't notice. It's one little funny, oblivious moment. And in the battle itself, uh, she let she lets her kind of mean streak come forward a bit, and you can see that in some of these photos, where she's the Allied commander, and if monsters are marching on the base, she says, "Oh, enemies are coming! Bring them on!" I mean, yee help! Okay. Yep. Yeah. That, that game captured her personality pretty well, <laughs> even though you don't see much of much of what she's capable the of. The dark side. Go, go out of your way. Yep. Uh, I'm tempted to show that, but I'm tempted to not show that here, because it's, like, so random in that, if you get what I mean. Yes. And right now I kind of forget where I'm going exactly. I think I have to go to Animal Village now to find the walrus. You do, yes. Okay, okay. Now this will take you to back to level one. I know, I know. Oh, that's right, there's a heart piece and a bomb of a wall in here. I don't think it's a hard piece. It's either a hard piece or a, a, a shell. And I do want the shells. Yes, it, it is possible to get all 20 shells by the time you're halfway through ooh, level 4. Makes that boss even easier. I don't even know what... I don't even know... I don't... I usually get them by around... Get... What, the Redeem the shells by around 6 or... Something like that. Mm -hmm. Five or six or something. Yeah, it, it's... Uh, I wouldn't say it doesn't become necessary till then, but uh, it's uber useful if you get it earlier. But the enemies aren't scaled up until around that point. And, uh huh. Although, part of the thing... I, w I was actually startled by that camera thing, because I'm... The original thing I played of this handheld was the regular version. Right. I never bothered to re buy the same game. Didn't make sense to me at the time. Piece of power! Piece of power! You stole the Triforce of low rule, you think? But, well, it makes me to walk faster. Yes, that's the most handy thing about those pieces of power. It, it was so cool. I got this for the genie fight. And so he went what? down in seconds. Oh, that's good, because in my opinion, he's the hardest boss in the game. Yes! It, Pretty much because it, you have, like, nothing going into him. No, nothing going. It is possible to get a, a, a medicine before going into him, but that requires leaving the dungeon. Yeah. And when when playing on the original Game Boy, you could not see his shots. Oh, oh, the original, original. Yes. Well, not like uh, if you're playing on Game Boy Advance, like the cartridge or something. Right. It, it, it's ironic because there was so so many times growing up with the Game Boy, we we'd be on road trips. My brothers and I would be trying to tilt the Game Boy to get the sunlight on it. Now with the 3DS and uh, Vita, we're trying to keep the sunlight away from it because it makes it too bright. Yeah, uh, I was trying to when when I had first got a Game Boy, I had to like play it in the bathroom mm -hmm. several times because it was the only place I could get a good enough light. And then, then then there was the. Uh, we got an AC adapter for our Game Boy, and it was so sensitive, you could bump the cord, and it would reset the Game Boy. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> we were, were at my grandma's house on summer vacation, just trying to sit absolutely still while playing it because the parents wouldn't spring for new batteries as long as we had the AC adapter. My AC adapter actually worked pretty well. This leads to Animal Village, doesn't it? Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. And even even better, there's a warp point in there. Yeah, I know. Just need your I Pegasus know. Boots. There's just a few little details I forget. I, f I remember a lot of the big stuff. Because it's my favorite, but... Mm -hmm. But if you don't play it for a while, you will forget things. Oh, um, I have played the DX version um, fairly recently because... Um, what's it? Oh, because it's on Virtual Console for 3DS. Right. That's, that's basically that's the last why. one I played. I, I know... And I forgot to do something, but it's not a huge deal. Color dungeon? Yeah. I'm gonna do it, though. Yeah. It's not that bad. It breaks the game even more. I want to increase the odds of getting the secret ending. Uh, Kermit the Bear! Hi-ho! Oh. And we got a pineapple for a honeycomb. Oh, I think oh, I have to do this. Yes. Yeah. Little Marin, that is her full title. Though I think in Japanese they call her Marin Chan. Well, let's look around. Should I look around the village, you think, or... Should we just uh, there... progress? Go ahead and progress, because you can't do anything with... There's at least one more or trading game sequence in the village, but you need what you get the pineapple... Trade the pineapple for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Or, or, Energize! Or, or you could walk into the uh, artist painting the nude hippo. That was the weirdest room to me as a kid. I did not understand what that was all about. It was actually censored in the in the U.S. version, too. <laughs> I, I think in the Japanese version, she has prominent breasts. And there was the one hippo lady who was like, Go away! Yep. And then the painting made, like, no sense to me. Um, where am I heading? Mave Village, or Mave Village. I know. Oh, yeah, 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 I know where I want to go. I'm actually going to do the color now, because... I don't know if you can enter with her following you. That's a good question. Never never tried that. Because sometimes when people are following you, they won't let you do things. Mm-hmm. She's actually to the south. I should actually reveal what, how you know how to do this, because I forgot... It's a little complicated. I didn't show off the library before. But you know what it is. Mm -hmm. We're going to need to come here later. But like in Link's Awakening, this is only in the color version. The new world of color under five gravestones. A whole new world. Oh, Fantastic boy. point of view. When you go in and become color alive. Three, <laughs> yeah. four... For, for, forget trying to come up with lyrics. Um. Oh boy. One down, two left, three up, four or right, five up. It, 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 it's it's basically counterclockwise and then up on the fifth one. Wait a minute, I gotta see that again. I forget how this works. It's the wait. So it's not the number of times. Mm-hmm. It's the. Wait. Oh. Okay. Open a new path. Whoever is worthy receives the power of color. Do you remember it? Just... Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. I know. I, I think I wrote this down the first time. The Wonderful World of Color, that was a Disney program back in the day. I haven't done this puzzle in forever. And I'm more... And, like I said, I, the one I played technically more is the other version. Right. And, but part of the reason I want this version is actually because of the color dungeon. And not because of the reward at the end of it. Actually. So much. I I can never remember if the reward bothers actually makes a difference in terms of if you choose red. Because I th think there's a maximum attack power you can have, and that's with the level 2 sword with a piece of power. I don't think I can go any higher, even with the red tunic. Uh-huh. Well... 
Yeah, I don't think it goes higher, but... Um... Is that it? Uh, I think I think it's on the other side. Okay. Yeah. This uh, is... Down down one. Oh. Yeah, I was just. Let's see. One. Yeah. Two... No wait wait. It was order. Yep. So so the bottom right goes down. Mhm. Mm I, I think you need to equip the power bracelet too. Hmm. I think if you kill that first ghost, they won't pop out of the graves anymore, too. Just those old little old guineas from the original. Just as persistent as usual. Yep. Well, they're already dead. They can't die anymore. Okay, the bottom left was left. Oh, arrows that you don't need. And up. I just want to test this. Okay, and right, and up, and up, yep. There we go. Oh, Bones, what are you doing here? 